Hello and welcome to How to Mod Star Wars Battlefront 2. Today we're going to go over the setup of Frost Mishy uh, for those who don't know how to use it. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is download it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for the download. Uh, but then, yeah, you want to extract it somewhere, which uh, isn't your downloads folder because that's one. It's just a terrible place to extract things, but. So what you'll get is this. Uh, all you do is click this, and it'll set everything up. It'll take a bit longer than that, because I already have it installed. It just pops up. Uh, now, when you first launch it, you won't have any of this stuff here. So uh, just minimize it for now. And you want to create an output and a samples folder. You can actually call these whatever the hell you want. This is just what their function is. Um, so, the easiest way to do that is you know create the folder, go in here, copy the directory, and then what you need to do is go into your preferences and paste the directory into here, and do the same for your project preferences as well. Then what you want to do is exactly the same thing for the output folder, and then that's all set up for it to read out of those files. The next thing you have to do is... Uh, then you have to create these folders which I have here, right? So you can go and close Frost Mishy for now. You have all these folders, uh, and each one of these is a mesh which is in the game. Simple enough, right? So, what I'll go and do is open up Frosty. Alright, and so the first thing you want to do is go find the mesh that you want to replace so you know where it is. Uh, we're going to go with something that not a lot of people probably replace, but just the B2. Uh, you can see here, you know, it's under Characters, Hero, B2, B201, and there is your mesh. Right? Simple as that. The next step is to open your Chunk Res Explorer. This is where you get the files that you need for Frost Mishy. So what you want to do... Because, you know, we know where it is, it's called B2, all the files are listed as B2, so we can just type B2 into the search bar. And we know it's under Hero, Characters, B2, B201. And there is the mesh there. Now, meshes are split into two files, uh, usually if it's just a character mesh, uh, which doesn't have any cloth physics or anything like that. Um, you have a mesh, and they have a blocks. And the mesh is under the 01 folder, usually. And then you also have the B201 mesh mesh, which is where the blocks are. So you, what you need to do is right-click this, export it to somewhere. I already have a folder set up for it. So what you actually need to do in your samples is create a new folder for this to go into. You can name it whatever you want, as long as you know what it is. And then you would open it in here. Uh, and you see I have B201 mesh and the blocks, but I'm just going to save over these. And then export that into there. All right, so that's that. Then, when you open up Frost Meshy, you will have this folder will now show up here. And when you tick it, it'll come up with all the material slots that that mesh has. You have bust, waist, leg. And that is relative to the textures that it has, you have bust, leg, waist, and you have NM, the CS, and withering for each one of those. That is specifically for this. So, you know, you have different ones depending on uh, the shader that something uses, or just whatever the way the textures are set up for that mesh specifically. Uh, one thing that I will note with something like, uh, say, Finn, he has... Uh, some other interesting things. So he has uh, his, you know, mesh blocks, right? But then he also has this, um, which is a variation of his uh, blocks. Some meshes have this, some don't. So if you import a mesh and it's not working, this could be the case for their import, uh, but it could also just be that it's not working. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, yeah, and then uh, I do actually have a whole tutorial about how to, you know, import with this software, so I'm not going to go over it. That's the basics of how to, uh, you know, import with it. But uh, 
my other tutorial goes over the blender side of it and what to do with your mesh and other things like that. So I hope this was helpful for anybody who was looking for this information. Uh, if there's any other tutorials that you guys would like, please put a comment in the comments. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll put all the links needed in the description. Uh, one for Frost Meshy, uh, and one for the Discord server that I have uh, for new modders. There's a whole bunch of people in there, real helpful. Uh, even I go ask there sometimes, you know, because I'm not quite sure. And there's always usually somebody who can help you out. If someone doesn't answer, it's usually because they don't know. Uh, and it's as simple as that. I hope you guys enjoyed that, found it helpful. Blah, 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 blah. I know I'm going on a bit, but uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.